Hello, hello, and welcome. We are so, and we have birds chirping because you're here today too. We're so glad that you joined us. We are going to have explosions in the sky. I'm so excited that you come to be with us today. First, I want you to tell me where you are from. If you're from Lexington or uh, Stone Mountain or somewhere in Alabama or the beach or the way out west or even a different country, welcome, welcome. We're glad you're here today. <coughs> Excuse me. I would like for you to like this video and share it with your friends because that's how we spread the love of art all over. And you help us do that. And when we finish all of our art today, take a photo of your art and put it in the comments on Instagram, on, the, on this video or on Instagram. And one last thing, our art techniques course is in the back to school backpack. And we're going to share a link with that in just a little while. But now, most important, I want to show you what you need to paint with me today. And I do have students that are painting with me, my very favorite of my heart students, my grandchildren. And they're going to be doing meteors also because this weekend is the weekend for the famous Perseid meteor shower. And I would love to know if you're hoping to see some, some meteors this weekend. Now, let's just go through what you might need to paint today. Now, I have black construction paper. If you don't have black, Here's blue, dark blue. Or you can use a purple. This, you can use this color. That's a dark purple. Whatever you prefer. Okay, I'm gonna use black. All right. Now, here we have a moist paper towel or a baby wipe because we get chalky fingers. And if we're going to go from a white chalk to an orange, then you need to wipe your fingers off, maybe. It's just up to you. It just makes things easier. These are the colors that I have picked out for our uh, meteor shower. There's a yellow, a bright yellow, gray, orange, white. We've got to have white. And uh, here is a pale blue, okay? Now, I have, as I said, the construction paper and I've turned it horizontal because this is going to be a view of some hills and the meteor shower is going to be coming down like this over the mountains. <coughs> now later on when we finish our meteor shower we're going to have a special bonus of a comet that came across the United States in 1860. Now, this is done on plain uh, copy paper. And I'm going to show you how to do this. And we're going to have an art technique up here for those of you that want to stay and watch this, okay? And some poetry. So we're gonna have art and poetry. But first, we're going to get our meteor shower for this weekend, okay? Now, <clears throat> this is what, what we want to do. We want to get our gray or a dark color. Now, it's gonna be hard to get a dark color to show up here, but we can do it. Here's the gray. If you don't have a gray, you can lightly use a white. And then I'm going to take the gray 
and turn it on the side and I'm going to fill it in a bit. Oh, I love hearing the chalk swoosh across the paper. Now, there's our mountain. Now, <coughs> the sun is going down right here. So we've got a little bit of a sun setting. Now, this is your painter finger. And take it and gently smooth it. Oh, look at the glow you can make. Isn't this wonderful? This really does look like a sunset, like a sun just going down behind the mountains. And to help it, here's a bright yellow, and we're going to put it on its side like this and lightly, 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 I'm going to put this lightly, not heavy, because we're going to be able to show our meteors falling okay here we go smoothing this in i know it looks beautiful mine looks beautiful i think all right now one more thing we're going to do is we're going to take a light blue this is a light blue and up in the sky we're going to lightly put in the Milky Way. Oh, we would have to stay all day to get the Milky Way in. See, I just barely touched the paper. Barely touched. And then I'm going to smooth it in so you can, you just see like almost a transparent cloud of stars in the sky. Okay? Now, this is where the fun starts. Take your white, your white pastel, and the comets are going to be falling almost like rain. They're going to go from this corner to this corner, not straight down. They don't fall straight down. They go across the sky. So this is what I like to do. I like to make a dot, and then, there we go, there we go, and you can make some short ones, how many do you think will be falling from the sky? Oh my. Goodness, I hope we get to see this many. Now, don't let your sky look like it has chicken pox. Let's don't do that. That makes the, when your viewer looks at it, it's like, oh, well, what do I look at? There's so much to see. Okay? And then, if you like to, down here, Below the mountains, you can put in some lights of the city. Now, I'm just going to just make some lines, which looks like lights of a city. So there you have the city. Here you have the mountains. You have the sun setting going down so you can look out and you can see these wonderful, wonderful comets going across the sky. And I understand there could, depending on where you are, you could have hundreds and hundreds. Okay, I've got a bunch. I'm sure you do too. So, take your favorite color of pastel 
sign your name small in the corner. Now, I don't think there'll be many of you named Nana, but if there are, you could put an N there, and then flip your painting over and name it Comets, or Night Sky, or whatever you prefer. You're the artist, and today's date. And then, go and show this to your family. And if they can't figure out what it is, explain to them what the scene is. So they'll be impressed and they'll say, wow, that's this weekend? We've got to set some time to watch this. Thank you, you are an artist. Now, let's take our comment picture, I perceive, put it over to the side and get out your white copy paper. Okay? Now this is going to be our interpretation of Frederick Church. He was an artist back in 1859 and he drew, because they didn't have that many photographs, but he drew the comet that came across the sky at that time, where he was in Upper New York. And Walt Whitman, who was an American poet, was so impressed with his painting that he wrote a poem about it. And he compared himself to a comet flashing across the sky, shooting over our heads in a moment long, and then it was gone. I want you to, if you have a chance, to look up Walt Whitman's poem, The Year of the Meteors, because it was a really big deal back in 1859 or 1860. It was in the summer. So we're going to paint an interpretation of this, all right? And I'm going to show you a sort of technique that I want you to see if you can do, okay? Now, we're going to change a few colors. We're basically going to have the ones that we had before. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to put in our background first. Now, Frederick Church, as I said, was a famous, famous American painter. And he was a member of what's called the Hudson River painters. Now this is our horizon. These little lumps here are far away trees. So this is the ground and this is going to be where the comet is. Now I want you to just take your time. If I get too fast, you can go back and st stop the video and see what in the world was Nana talking about. Now, as you can see, it looks like I have a snake going here. That's not a snake. This is going to be the pond. Now this is the way I learned how to paint a pond. Okay, we have really enthusiastic painters going on right now. When you are going to paint a pond, you make your mind think, okay, I'm the land, and the land is going to go this way. And then it's going to go this way and this way. This is the land I'm drawing. I'm not drawing a pond. And you've drawn 
a landscape. Now I've taken this dark green and I'm putting it on its side and I'm going to fill in this landscape. Now you can take your fingers and smooth this now or you can come back later and do it. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to switch colors so as you can see, that's how you get the chalk off your fingers. Take your light blue and you're going to put it on its side and just fill in. You don't have to worry about edges or staying in the lines. Just lightly put your light blue in, okay? Now, this is the technique I want to show you, okay? This is gonna look strange. You see this orange chalk? This is what I want you to do. Put it on its side, and then lightly, we're going to undercoat the sky. Lightly, lightly. Because this is what Frederick Church did. Now that looks very strange. Take your fingers and get it as smooth as you can. This is the fun part of pastels, when you get to put your hands in it. And if you pick up some of the green, it's okay, it's okay. You're doing fine. See if you can get it in as much as possible. Now, that comforts me, it looks a bit better. Then, you take your blue, this is a big piece of blue, put it down, and we're going to lightly go over the orange. So you have learned how to do an undercoat before you put your, oh, all right, now, stop right here. I've left a circle in the middle. I'm going to put my comet in there, okay? If you have already covered it up, it's okay. Now, paint her fingers, smooth it in, Now, look, you even have a line right there on the horizon showing the sun sort of going down. Now, right here in the middle, right here in the middle, we're going to put a comet in a row. This is what they saw back in 1860. See if I can get a brighter. Let's see. There we go. That's bright. We may have to make some yellow. My white doesn't want to really show up that well. But once you get over here in the dark sky, you see? Now, you can make this white show up better by coloring around it. All is not lost. We'll just give it a boost of color, okay? Now, here's your painter finger. And 
Look at them, they just stand out. Now, um, the artist church had this in oils. We're using pastels. So just remember, see how when you put the white on here, when you bear down a bit, how they show up better. And there were lots of comets in the sky. But this was the big one that they saw over the northern part of the United States. Now, let's work on this, this wonderful lake down here. We've got to have some reflection. Now, I'm going to make it a little bit darker right there. And we're going to Now, watch this. Paint our finger. Pull it down. Look how we have a reflection. You can come back over here and pull a reflection down from the edge and make it just wonderful. And you can play with this all afternoon just about. I might use a yellow. Look at that. Oh wow, that's fun. See how you can make a reflection? I think this is beautiful. And I know that you've done a great job. Frederick Church himself would be proud of this. Remember, write your name in the corner and flip it over. And you can call this the year of the meteor and today's date, if you like. And then go explain the story behind these meteors crossing the northern part of the United States so many, many, many years ago. And everyone will be so surprised and tell them that Walt Whitman, a famous, famous American poet, actually wrote a poem about the year of the meteors. They will be so surprised to see all that you know about this. And I want you to always, always remember that you are an artist. artist.